Hi Gary, uh, thanks for your latest response. Um, yeah, the uh, question that I'm raising about whether or not the will can intervene to influence or alter the value of experience, the value of qualia, the positive or negative value of something, um, is a completely personal thing. I'm not um, trying to <laughs> say that we can make the Holocaust go away. Definitely not. I suppose uh, if this uh, point of view is approached individually by a survivor of the Holocaust, you can sort of... Um, one could say that that would allow that person, or assuming that it's possible to for the will to manipulate experience, um, then that person could recover from the trauma of the Holocaust, or he could use that to assist in some small or large, who knows, recovery from the Holocaust. Uh, I'm certainly not going to tell somebody who's been through such a traumatic experience to listen to me and I'll solve all of your problems. No, that's, uh, that's not, uh, not anything that I'm suggesting at all. Um, <clears throat> what I'm saying is, um, our own personal experiences, or even really actually just my own personal experiences, seem to respond to um, intervention by the will, by my own will, by my own consciousness. I seem to be able to um, declaw the nastiest ones, or I shouldn't say declaw them, but perhaps um, dull the claws a bit by... I won't say a positive attitude, but uh, some intervention in terms of um, my mind. I don't, in other words, see my experiences as things that come exclusively from without, from outside. I see my experiences as a combination of outside stimuli and inside, or uh, uh, evaluation slash manipulation. Um, so it's not a question of making the world a nice place. You can't do that. The world just is what it is. Uh, and further, uh, which came up in another discussion in the comment section of my previous video, it does appear as though, uh, ta using the word will here, or consciousness, but will actually works better, at least etymologically, there is at least a desire for us to do that. There is a desire for us to um, manipulate our own experiences, for us to manipulate the value of positive or negative experience. I think that we want to have more positive experiences than negative experiences. I'm not saying that we want more good things to happen to us than bad things. That's not what I'm referring to. What I'm saying is we want to feel good as, a, as opposed to feeling bad. That seems to be axiomatic, or more than axiomatic, it seems to be unarguable. Um, and the only counter-argument I can come up to that is, or I can put up to that, is that some people who are of masochistic bent might want to feel bad, but in that case we're blurring the line between feeling good and feeling bad, which raises problems all its own, but is also a very fascinating avenue to follow, which I'm not going to get into in this video. But it does seem to be that so far um, experience does take place. Um, that seems to be a given. Um, and that there are some experiences that are better than neutral, and there are some experiences that are worse than neutral. <laughs> <clears throat> or at least there are some experiences that appear to be better than neutral, and some experiences that appear to be worse than neutral. And finally, there appears to be a will, a desire, to have positive experience 
better than neutral as opposed to negative or worse than neutral experiences. So, given those three, where do we go from here? Well, the obvious um, question that arises, or the obvious next sort of speculation is, what can we do to make our experience of reality, life, whatever, our existence, um, include more positive experience than negative? Uh, can we actually intervene with our consciousness to do this? It looks as though it, that is possible. Um, but that's going to take a few more videos, I think, to flesh out. <laughs> Thanks for the response. <laughs>